are. What am I supposed to do? Nobody, no son of the Domalans or daughter, except for my followers, my 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 my, my sympathizers who have been who, who who have been I mean encouraging me with texts and other things. There's no single Idoma, there's no single Idoma son who is in position of authority who has opened their mouth to say, what have our daughter or our sister done? I am baffled and perplexed. What is my crime? I'm an Idoma girl. I'm an Idoma lady. The thief told me in Makodi that I want to put thief people in trouble, that I want to start a fight with the thief people and Idoma. I do not know that the teams and the idomas are having any fight at all, and that is not my business. I don't fight anybody. I'm a peace-loving person. I stay within my lanes. I do, I obey the rules of the land. I come to Nigeria almost six or five times a year. I've never committed any crime. I'm not a criminal. I came to honor my late mother as a daughter of Idoma land would do. What is my crime? The world should tell me what my crime is. Idomas and Nigerians should tell me what my crime is. I'm being held here for nothing. What have I done? They want to kill me? What have I done? What have I done to deserve this treatment? Nigerians, can you please help me? What have I done to deserve this treatment? I am a mother. I'm somebody's sister, I'm somebody's mother, I'm somebody's grandmother. What have I done? What have I done? The world should help me ask Nigerians, what have I done? Thank you for those of you watching. All I needed you to do is to please ask the Nigerian government, and start from Otom, start from Benue State. Ask him, have I crossed this path before? I'm not a politician. My family, are, I mean, I have a brother or br brothers who are politicians, but I don't middle in politics. I don't do politics. I don't do politics. So why should anybody use me to score political points, if at all? I've been threatened. Benue State indigents, especially the thieves, proudly to say, said they should kill me that I brought COVID. Even if I invented COVID, if I invented COVID by now, 39 days, COVID should be angry by now. That this woman has refused to get it and refused to show any symptoms, which I don't have. I do not have any symptoms. I am not sick. I've not sneezed. I don't have a headache. I don't have anything. I'm just locked up here. What is my crime? Nigerians, please help me ask the world, what is my crime? What have I done to deserve this? Please ask questions on my behalf. Do I need to be treated like this? I'm still asking. I just, I just want people to please ask, ask, ask. People, please ask the Nigerian government, the ND, the NCDC, NCDC. They said they have done a test of me. I've not gotten any result from them. Please, please. I am tired. I am tired. Mentally, I'm tired. Psychologically, I'm tired. This is what they want to do to me to break me down. But I have a God in heaven who will not let me break down. Right now, I can't see properly with my eyes, but I know God will heal me. But it's all the freaks. What have I done, Nigerians? What have I done? Please let somebody help me ask. What have I done? Please don't knock on my door. No, don't knock on my door, please. Don't knock on my door, madam, please. For three days or how many days this this room has not been cleaned, so it doesn't matter. I'm doing a video, please. Nigerians, can you help me ask, please? Nigerian, I beg of you. 
If you're consigned, can you help me ask, please? Help me ask, help me ask, help me ask. This is my plea today, help me ask. I've contacted the lawyer, but the courts are closed and they, they're pretending they haven't gotten any letter from my lawyers. They have not acknowledged that they've gotten any, any letters from my lawyers. This is human right abuse. Whatever, I don't know whatever anybody will call it, but I think this is abuse. Abuse, I haven't done anything. I haven't committed any crime. I haven't committed any crime. If I've committed crime, let them take me to justice. Let them bring me to book. I haven't committed any crime. Nigerians, please ask from Benue State Government or Tom to the federal government, what have I done? What is my crime? What is my crime? No, I, I'm not. I'm not. They're still holding me here. Nobody's telling me anything. They're not telling me anything. I don't know what my crimes are. I'm not out. I'm here. Seated here 39 days. I'm here. That's the question you should ask. That's the question you should ask. Yes, people are asking me. I, I don't have anybody. I have God. I have only God. Because like the Bible tells me that if you, if you trust in the arm of flesh, it will fail you. So I only have God to depend on. My brothers that are watching, my brothers and well-wishers that are watching, please can you ask people questions on my behalf? Ask them questions. Start from the Benway State Government and go to the federal government, whoever is in authority that you can ask. Ask them for me, what have I done? What have I done? What's my crime? What's my crime? I don't have any sickness. I don't even have a headache. I don't have a cough. I've not sneezed. So what is my problem? I mean, what exactly are they holding me for? They should tell the world what they're holding me for. I need to be free. I need to be free. Somebody please speak on my behalf. I do not know what those people want with me. It's either they want to poison me or they want to kill me. If not, I haven't offended anybody. I haven't offended anybody. I don't know anybody in Nigeria. I don't meddle into people's problems. I'm not a politician. This is a clear case of injustice. Human rights abuse. Because they think they have power. Yes, they have power. I can fight government. But they should let me go and meet my children. My children are already distressed. I'm somebody's mother. My sister, I be my brother, Amen. Please ask them for me. What have I done to them? I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. I wake up every day here hoping that somebody, somebody will come to their senses and say, let this woman go. I haven't done anything. I am not sick. I am not sick. Every day, the, the doctors and what, technicians come to harass me here. They come to my door to harass me. I'm tired of harassment. It's affecting me psychologically. 39 days, 39 days of incarceration. What have I done?
uh, yes, I, 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 don't, I, I don't belong to any clique of the Idoma high men. Yes, I've spoken to a few of them. But because I don't know whether they're trying to score political points, like I've, I'm emphasizing I'm not a politician. I don't mean to into politics. No Idoma man, no Idoma, no Idoma man who is in authority has spoken out to say what has our daughter done or what has this lady done. I am from Otupa Ogbadigo. I am a Lawani. I'm a full-fledged blood Lawani daughter. But it doesn't matter at this time. It doesn't matter at this time. Can Idomas please take my voice out? Can Idomas please amplify my voice? Amplify my voice before somebody inject me something here and kill me. I have children, young children that I'm looking after on my own. Thank you all of you that are watching. Please, whatever you can do, I'm just Idoma lady. Anyala, you're a good mother or that good man. You're a good mother, good man. Babanya Bunkwanya, Eku, Eku Mabolona, Eku, we met the law again. Because I've been here, I've not seen sunshine for 39 days. 39 days I've not seen. The doctors only come to harass me here. Do test, do test. Do test, do test. I've done tests up to three, four times. I've done tests. I've not seen any results. And I told them I'm not doing any tests again. Because whatever they're looking for, they won't find. The next thing is that they will bring a poison and put it in my throat. And I think I should be smart enough to live for my children. Even not for my children, to live for followers. I have followers. I have contacts that I look after. I have people, by the grace of God, that have paid their school fees. I have homeless people that are free. That's my assignment on the face of the earth. That they want to inject me here and kill me. Why would they want to kill me? What have I done? Why? What have I done? I haven't done anything. I pleaded. I've spoken to them. What do you want to do with me? Do you want to experiment with drugs? You say COVID patient? I'm not a COVID patient. If you say COVID patient, are treated. What symptoms are you treating? I don't have any symptoms to be treated. And nobody can answer that. I don't have any symptoms. 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 Or than why why you have to know why you respect Lenin no more because when Kela Lenin can do one more on the fifth of April, in Habu Klokunta, in Kawaken why look when they ma bu more get ma can why look when they need us crank up no no commit a ya boy. Actually, do I ka actually do government ku ku Ben State and the federal government talk how no you are. You can watch your dog, mother, dog, man. Only you can watch your dog, mother, dog, man. Hey, to put your guac on there, you. And then you turn, man. Hey, to go there, you drink and lay. Our doctors get why harass you, make your dog, man. You get do I get harass you, then? Or that dog, my you? I mean, look, if your nurses now doctor know why, man. Oh, you know, look over your 39 days. You can't come out of that. Mike, you can't come on. 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 Yes. And I'm thinking that, yes, because I'm from Idoma. What have the Idomas done? It started from Makodi. The nurses, when I was in incarceration, 
the, the nurses there, one bluntly told me that, Madam, you are a doma and you want to put the thief people in trouble. I said, why would I put thief people in trouble? Do thief and idoma, do they have any problem? I don't know. You are just telling me. That's exactly his word. One of the nurses there. They come to speak to him. I don't know what they're talking about. Before I was moved to Abuja. What do they want me to do? If the thieves and the idomas are fighting, will they use me? Why should they use me as a scapegoat? Why will Otom use me as a scapegoat? Abonu came to me. He spoke to me that he was a father to me. I don't believe him. I told him, My own idoma person was the one. I was a criminal. As if I was a criminal. With armed men, they removed me. Forcefully removed me with armed men and lied against me. Oh, no, yeah. What have I done? What have I done? Please, what have I done? Okay, you're that old man. Okay, you, okay, and nobody's opening their mouth to say anything. I pray, that's my prayer that God will intervene with God because that I mean it's only God that I have at this point. It's only God that I have and it's my hope only is in God. It's only God that I have. I don't have any other person. I don't know what to say again, sincerely, I don't know what to say because I'm just mentally exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm in the hospital room, as everybody can see. I'm out of the hospital room. I'm locked up here. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I don't know what to do anymore. My brother Raphael, I'm here. Sincerely, I don't know what I've done to them. Sincerely, I don't know what my crimes are. They're forcing COVID-19 on me. I don't have anything. I'm t 39 days here today. 39 days in incarceration today. I'm still here. My brother, my brother, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know, I don't, uh, it's not where I come from anymore. I am, I'm, I'm in God's hand, I'm in God's hand. If you, if, if, if you can leave your sister to stay in a place for 39 days, is that, is that supposed to be brothers and sisters anymore? The watch you ask. The watch you ask. 39 days. 39 days they are eating and they are sleeping and i'm here having a sleepless night every night except for my children that call me every day no nothing they're telling me don't go online don't speak anything they are threatening me 
then I should stay here and be one of the casualties. But God will not let me be a casualty in this matter. I will not be a casualty because I have a God in heaven. I will not be a casualty. That's why I'm crying to the Idoma people. I mean, the Idoma people, not necessarily the leaders, because, well, if you say you are representing some, I mean, representing somebody, and um, that person is uh, um, of the same blood, I might not be from the same father, but for the fact that I'm Idoma, I'm Idoma. Whatever touches another Idoma person touches me, and I believe that whatever touches me as an Idoma daughter should touch somebody who is Idoma. But unfortunately, I've just seen that that's not the case with Idoma land. That's not the case with our leaders. It's only those who are powerless, those who are powerless like myself, that are supporting me. That our voice will be heard. Our voice will be heard one day. Our voice, Idoma voice will be heard one day. I'm not making it political. I'm not a political person. But the shock... The shock that I still have is that I, will, I come from a family, I come from a nation, a Doma nation, to say, and I'm 39 days, tomorrow will be 40 days, don't know what is going to befall me, but I know that God is backing me. I am still here, seated here, incarcerated for what I don't know. No, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't have COVID. Like I said, 39 days, nothing. Even the Mikobi Kobi, I wouldn't come invent to Kobi in China. By now, Chinese people chico gaki why could Kobi I mean my bomb because Kobi I can say you okay say you get it. Oh unko legi to say the truth, I don't have anything. Yes, the British government has spoken to them. The only thing they are saying is that Nigerian is a sovereign state, that I came into Nigeria with a Nigerian passport. And that's what I do. I believe as a Nigerian, I shouldn't be going to get visa on my British passport and bring it to Nigeria. So I normally will bring my Nigerian passport here and then take my British passport back when I'm going. But now I just just realized i've spoken to the counselor for almost four times i said go and get a lawyer oh you are under nigerian rule now because you have dual nationality i did not deny my nigerian citizenship i didn't see any reason to deny my nigerian citizenship because i'm from nigeria that's why i have dual nationality but i now know better that anytime i have to come to nigeria i have to use my british passport and get a, a visa on it I not use Nigerian passport anymore. Why should I not use Nigerian passport? That is a question. That is what they are saying now. That because I came to Nigeria with a Nigerian passport. And that Nigerian is a sovereign state. I'm under them. Even though they've been evacuating people. I asked them. They say a certain Nigerian government released me. They will not be able to evacuate me. That is the clause. So that is the error. Again. That I have to come to Nigeria with a Nigerian passport. I'm a Nigerian. Why should I deny that I'm a Nigerian? I'm a Nigerian, I'm a British. So I have two passports. When I'm coming to Nigeria, I don't need to go and get a visa because I'm a Nigerian. I use Nigerian passport. When I'm going to England, I use my English passport and use my British passport. So that's the crime. It's a crime now. I've spoken, I've spoken to them up to four times. And the same thing they're saying.
oh well. Anybody can watch for all I care. I've not committed any crime. I'm not committed any crime. I haven't done anything. I won't infringe on any government, uh, any government personnel like they say. Yeah. I'm just here incarcerated for nothing. They have done tests. They have done tests on me. The only thing I've not taken from them is medication because I see no reason why I should just sit down here and be taking medication for nothing. I am not sick. I am not sick. I have no sickness. I have no COVID-19. I don't even have a headache. I don't have a fever. I don't have a cough. I don't have nothing. Why should anybody force me to take medication? Why should I be forced to take medication? I doma. I'm still here. And I'll still continue to cry out. I'll still continue to cry out until it gets to wherever. I did a video I couldn't post. I couldn't post on Facebook. I don't know the reason. So I've gone on Facebook Live. Yeah, my brother Raphael, you should ask them. You should ask them. They know. Everybody knows about it. Here in Nigeria, they know. They know. All they are saying, oh, okay, I uh, uh, mean, cooperate with them. What? Cooperate in what sense? What should I cooperate with? What should I cooperate with? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They only care when you bring your tithe and your offering. That's all. Nobody cares. But one thing I want to say is that I gave my life to Christ without the church. It's Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I gave my life to. I did not give my life to the church. I served in the church because the church is supposed to be a body of Christ. And now I know better. Yes, you're asking me, what's the church doing about it? Mm, well, nothing. Nothing. I pay my tax. I give my uh, offering. I give my first fruit. I do to the church. I have a record in my local assembly. Somebody should ask them. Thank you, my sister. Thank you very much. God will come to my aid unfailingly. I know that the God I serve is too faithful to fail. He's too mighty. Nobody can put him in his pocket. In their pocket, I mean. He's the almighty God. Yes. You know, now you, you, you people should know whether they're serving God or they're serving human beings. When the crutch comes to the crutch, they will, they will advise you. They will advise you. I'm a pastor. Yeah, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. Does the church not know? The church no. My daughter, when this thing started, my daughter had already spoken to the headquarters of the church. What did they do? Nothing. Nothing. They did not do anything only they call my children to hear gossip oh your mom is there your mom is this and your mom is that and i think that's part of harassment also I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come out. Delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. But everybody's gonna pay a price. Everybody's gonna pay a price. People who think they have power will pay a price. That is for sure. That is for sure. But I know that God, God's name will be honored. That I know. God's name will be honored. God's name will be honored. Yes, I serve a God that is too big to fail. He's too faithful to fail. It's my only source, it's my confidence. 39 days, 39 days. If not for God, I would have gone insane. If not for God, if I don't believe in Jesus, maybe I would have hanged myself already. But I wouldn't do that. Why should I do that? The person who gave me life is the only one who has the right to take my life. And he has not planned to take it. I'm here. You guys can watch and go. I mean, well, you can decide. Be.
thank you all anyway. Thank you all anyway. I can't be on on on, on this forever. Uh, but all I can say is that this is my predicament. But I know God will deliver me. But my my my, my only um my only challenge and my um what should I say now? My concern is that I come from a state. I come from a people who are known. I come from a people who say they represent me in Nigeria, who have refused to voice out anything, who have refused to say anything. This is now I know that is God. You only depend on God, not on anybody. God will come true for me. I know God will come true for me. Amen. 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 Yeah, I know it's well with me by the grace of God. I know, I know, I know. God will come true for me. Yes, Jesus is stronger. Can you stop watching? Can you stop watching me? Those of you who call yourself my family, I don't know why you, 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 you're logging in to watch me. And you know who you are that I'm speaking to. Stop. Just stop. Hypocrites should stop. Because God is going to judge everybody. Just stop. Yeah, Sister, uh, Sister Lioness, you don't understand. Well, I've been incarcerated. I came to bury my mother. I've been incarcerated for 39 days here for nothing. COVID being imposed on me by force. I don't have anything. This is my 39 days that I'm speaking now. So what's my crime? I've not committed any crime and they're not letting me go. That's a challenge. That's what I'm talking about. And there's nothing to, 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 if you worship God, if the church say you worship, then there shouldn't be any secret. There's no secret. If your sister is in challenge, you're in challenge too. But I now understand, I now understand what it means. Thank you, Brother Raphael. Thank you, Brother Raphael. Yeah. Yes, 39 days I'm here. 39 days I'm here incarcerated. Yeah, my sister, they've been praying, and God, I know God is answering. The church knows. The church leadership, both in the United Kingdom and Nigerian, they know. I've not committed any crime. I have not committed any crime. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, all of you. God bless you, all of you. Good. Of you have been wishing me well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Nothing more that I can say, but God bless you. 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 My children are distressed. I know they won't be happy, but what can I do? I have to cry out. It's my life. My sister, I don't understand it myself. I do not understand it myself. I do not understand. I've asked God all kind of questions, but I do not understand it myself. I do not understand why I'm being kept here in isolation. In isolation or detention. This is forceful detention against my human right. Nobody's giving me anything. I'm not tablet, nothing. And you say I have COVID and I don't have any result to your test. This is my predicament. But I know God is able. God will deliver me. I don't know. 